Hi guys, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance. I'm Alex, and today I'm gonna to be talking about three ways that you can increase your vertical peak power. Increasing your vertic vertical peak power is one of the ways that you can maximize your, sw maximize your speed in the golf swing. Uh, it's one of the three, sometimes four, very important ground forces that we work on to try to maximize this. So you have vertical, horizontal, torsional, Today we're talking about the vertical aspect, which arguably may be one of the most important depending on yourself. So the first thing that you can do exercise wise to increase vertical peak power is gonna to be to squat. Uh, really any heavy vertical in the sagittal plane movement would be great to, inc to increase this, but I'm gonna go with squat today. And that's just because that vertical manner in which you use the ground is gonna be a great way to increase your slow speed strength. Now, slow speed strength, even if you're just doing a moderate to heavy squat, is gonna improve that slow manner in which you increase your strength. So it's may not move it, you may not move super fast when you're doing a slow speed squat because you have a lot of weight on your back or you're holding a moderate to heavy kettlebell or dumbbell, but just by improving your strength in a vertical manner, just by improving your strength in the squat, this is actually going to help carry over for you being quicker and producing more force in your golf swing. So slow speed strength in the squat is going to be huge for maximizing this vertical force. Now, let's say you're, you kind of stall in the weight that you use. So you've been working on increasing the squat for weeks, maybe months at a time, and you're at a kind of a standstill with your strength with it. So your slow speed strength has then stalled. Now what we can do is incorporate some other vertical peak power movements or some other vertical exercises that are gonna help to kind of get over this bump and still increase that vertical power. The next one I would recommend is doing some kind of fast jump. So counter movement jumps, body weight jumps, TRX jumps, uh, something that is going to have a very short amortization phase which is basically the amount of time that you're on the ground. So well, a good cue for this would be like the floor is lava, jump quick off the floor, you wanna be quick and fast off the floor, but any quick kind of hop, quick jumps, is gonna help you to also increase that vertical peak power. So we build a good base with the squat, uh, build some good slow speed strength. When that stalls, if we incorporate some kind of jumping, again, another vertical type manner, jump, we're going to still increase and push that vertical peak power. So again, some examples, box jumps, uh, body weight jumps, any kind of plyometric drill where you're pushing vertically up through the ground is gonna be great to increase this. Now, a third exercise I would recommend for increasing vertical peak power is gonna be some type of weighted jump. It may sound like the same thing, but there's a different focus with this type of jump. So when you have weights in your hand, light to moderate weights, holding a light to moderate medicine ball, you're increasing the force that you're putting into the ground with that jump because you have more mass that you're working with. So you're increasing the force. Now you're gonna have a slower amortization phase. So your feet will be on the ground a little bit longer than if you had no weight in that previous jump. So think about jumping higher as you can. That would be the cue rather than thinking like quick jump, it would be jump higher. Because you have more weight, you gotta think about pushing harder into the ground, which again, is just going into us building more vertical peak power. So you have increasing the slow strength with just a regular weighted squat. We have our quick jumps, so counter movement jump, uh, box jumps, and then you have weighted jumps. So even if you're wearing a weight vest, holding something moderate to light weight, working with applying more force to the ground, another great way to increase that vertical peak power. So those are three exercises, three ways that you can incorporate into your programming, whatever it may be, to increase your vertical peak power. Thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to the next one.